Well, welcome. Today, we're gonna, what we're going to be talking about is how to get your images off the microscope, labeled, and into Google Classroom. Uh, there's a couple different ways you can do it, but I'm just going to show you one of those ways using Google Drawings and also a, a digital microscope. So I'm using a, a Kenavision digital microscope. It's not very powerful, but for some of the projects that I'm doing, it works fairly well. I'm also using a Pasco's a spark view like so I can capture using the software to capture the images that I want so I've got Pasco um, uh, spark view open or at this particular point I'm looking for the USB camera because that's really all the the microscope is so I'm just going to ahead and click image and I'm going to click show and then I want the camera to play its image now I'm going to click on that and it should save that image and now at this uh, point in time I do have the image that I like now what I want to do next, and this is really critical, is you want to save it to the desktop of the, your computer. Now, some of you have been using phones to take a picture, that's great, but because our district's not allowing us to do the emailing within it, it's very difficult to get it basically on your our Google Drive. So if you do this, do this with a desktop computer, go ahead and take that picture, and then what you're going to do is you're going to save it. You're going to uh, export images, just like I have right here in front of me export I images call it wh what you want I'm just going to call it guard cells for now or guards and then I'm going to save it to the desktop so I click on desktop and I hit save now it should be on the desktop I'm just going to go ahead and minimize this window and now what I'd like you to do I I'm, I'm looking at two different uh, points of views on Google Classroom uh, this is the lab right here it's the uh, image on the uh, right hand of your screen is the teacher view and you can see the um, we did a, a lab on evapotranspiration you see there's at this particular point only one person's turned it in so let's uh, look at the student view what the students going to do you're going to find the lab which is on investigation on there we go. Uh, lab on tr evapotranspiration. Now I'm going to click on open up my account as a student. And when I do that, uh, and when I do that, then it has a variety of different um, things that I've done. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two uh, because they're not helping me any. So we're going to get that. There we go. So. Uh, and now at this t at this time what you want to do is you want to add a file you're going to add and you're going to go to drawings you're going to add the drawing file and it takes a minute or two for it to come up there it is now we're going to click on that file and now what you're going to do is you're going to import that image so you can label it so you go to insert and you go to image and you find it on the desktop right there and there it is on your desktop and with any kind of luck it's going to import it right onto that um, there document and now what you can use is use the tools to go ahead and mark it up for instance the line I want an arrow and let's put the arrow right there and then the next thing I want to make it a little bit bigger so there we go there and then I'm going to call it a guard cell And make this a little bit skinnier drop it down where I want it there we go so that's that's kind of how you do that now you don't have to do anything else just go ahead and go back to the investigation and we're going to submit it this is resubmit because again this particular person submitted it once I wanted them to redo it so you hit re submit turn it in and now what it's going to be doing, it takes a couple of minutes for it to get back to the teacher side of things. So we're going to go to the teacher side of things and we're going to take a look at, all right, this person has turned it in to resubmit it. I'm going to click it once, take a look at it. It looks pretty good here. So I'm going to go ahead and grade it. And I'm going to return it back to her. And when I do that, Now what it should say at this time, let's go ahead and go back. And we're going to look at it again. Make sure we get the grade. 
and there it is. Now it's 20 out of 20. That's how you do that. Main thing is when you take your picture, whether it be on the digital camera or your phone, you've got to get it to the desktop of your computer, and then what you can do is upload it from that using Google Drawings. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped you, and we'll see you in the lab. Thanks.